propaganda against the Green Party. And that's a tremendous amount of it. Okay, considering what a small group it still is, it's amazing how much anti-Green Party propaganda is. The propaganda against the Green Party is to keep people demobilized. Yeah. It's deliberately aimed at people not allowing themselves to hope for a better future for a real alternative. Right. There are third parties in every other country that you can think of. The dead hand of the two-party system is a uniquely United States of American phenomenon, and it is held in place to a very large extent by the power of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, people believe, oh, we can't possibly organize in a different way. Well, of course we can organize in a different way. The Republican Party was originally a third party. Yep. Very good example. People are starting to use that example and say, you know, they worked uh, the magic along with Abraham Lincoln in turning this into a party that took over from where the Whigs were dying out. And here we see the Democratic Party losing every, almost every state uh, house and losing the, you know, the federal government and losing um, registration and losing support and they can't even examine themselves why we're doing that and what can we do to change because they are in unidirectional and it's not stopping that train is not stopping so the unidirectional is also going down and we need a third party to rise up and this is the possibility oh, oh, oh.